So, you guys want to get together and, like, hang out or something? Yeah, so normally I would post this kind of thing on the main channel. I'm going to be talking today about Linux conferences, and I'm going to be moving my hand spastically while I do so. Yes, uh, I'm going to a Linux conference in about 11 days, 10 days, something like that. It's going to be Friday the 25th through the 27th of March in Indiana, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, specifically indianalinux.org. I've talked about this a couple times before here on the main channel, wherever. Going to be giving a presentation on Caden Live. If you're in the Indiana, Indianapolis area from the 25th through the 27th, specifically on the 26th, which is when I'll be giving my presentation, if you're interested in coming and hanging out, it is completely free. You just need to register through the website. If you are so inclined, you can register for the supporter package. It is $65, and I think hotel registration, sorry, I kicked the camera. So, hotel registration is open for another five days or so, six days. Anyway, so yeah, if you are interested in coming, it'd be awesome to see some of you guys there and meet you there. I thought while we were talking about this, I'd go ahead and go through like the rest of the year. I did a video like this last year on the main channel. I think that video honestly has 200 and some hits. That's all. Anyway, uh, so later on this year, I was originally planning to go to VidCon. VidCon is July something, 10th through the 12th, maybe. I can't remember exactly. VidCon2011.com. Uh, I was planning to do that. I did all the figuring up. I checked out plane tickets and hotel and the price of the ticket to get in, which is 80 bucks at this point. And while it would be amazingly awesome to get to go, to get to meet some of my favorite YouTubers, the more I think about it, the more... And I, I know I'm justifying here. The more I think about it, the more it doesn't really fit for me to go. I would just be going to have fun, and it would not be beneficial to the channel in any way, other than just having interesting content that's not tech-related. So with that in mind, and the amazing cost that it would have to fly there, uh, I've decided to go ahead and skip out on VidCon for this year at the very least. Maybe go next year. Uh, instead, I may, might go to Playlist Live next year if they do have that in Orlando again. By the way, the same weekend as Indiana Linux Fest, there is also an event called Playlist Live in Orlando, Florida, which I'm not going to be able to go to either because of Indiana Linux Fest. Um, that and again, it's going to be expensive to fly down there too, just less expensive. So yeah. Indiana Linux Fest in a week and a half or so, and then uh, instead of going to VidCon, I talked to one of the guys in my lug who said, hey, by the way, any, anybody interested in going to SELF? SELF is Southeast Linux Fest, which is going to be held in Spartanburg, South Carolina, June 10th through the 12th this year, I think. Uh, SoutheastLinuxFest.org, I believe is the address. I'll have links to all of these down below if you want to check that out. Uh, so I talked to him about it a little bit. He offered to uh, to drive if I would help pay for the gas, and we could split a room if I help split you know the cost. So I'm going to be doing that in June, and then in September, as usual, I'll be going to Ohio Linux Fest. So if you're going to be in Indiana or South Carolina or Ohio, I will be there for Linux Fest this year. Awesome, and hopefully it will help promote the channel just a little bit. I actually just uh, a few days ago received some business cards. For uh, for the Twill channel, so that uh, the last Linux Fest I went to, I bought stickers. I bought about 50 stickers from Cafe Press, and they were gone within an hour. <laughs> so that was kind of useless. I mean, it was great because it did provide promotion to people that uh, might not have found out the channel otherwise. But it was just a very quick and very expensive uh, promotion that was over very quickly. So I went ahead and bought business cards. Uh, Vistaprint had, I think it was a thousand for like 18 bucks and uh, I the the quality on them is fine it's not anything flashy or anything but uh, I don't know they they turned out as well as could be expected I actually put little uh, what is it, the QR codes on it for like the website and for the YouTube channel and uh, those didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped because the I couldn't tell how large it was gonna be they turned out to be a little bit too small it's fine. It still adds an, a geeky feel to it, so that's awesome. If you uh, do end up coming to one of these conferences just and you are interested in a business card, go ahead and ask. I will have more than plenty. Anyway, so uh, that's about it as far as conferences are concerned. Um, it's been a relatively eventful week. Uh, as you might have noticed from the main channel, things have been slow there because I've been so busy with other stuff. I've got the news video editing in the background behind me. I'm about to upload that. I'm going to edit and upload this video. Uh, I'm going to attempt, and I keep saying this, I know, I know I keep saying it. I'm going to attempt to do several videos this week instead of just two. Because two, it feels like I'm not giving you guys enough content, 
and it, it, it feels like I, I've put in all this work building up a channel and I'm not really doing anything with it, I'm not doing enough with it. So probably tomorrow, sometime tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, I'm going to be uploading a video about this device. This is the Pan Digital 7-inch uh, novel e-reader, media, tablet, whatever. Uh, Kohl's had it. It was, um, it was $199, marked down to $165. My wife had a coupon taking it to $140. And then they gave twenty dollars Kohl's cash back, which she, when uh, she's buying clothes for our son or for herself or for me or whoever, uh, that will basically come back to me in the form of her buying stuff for the family. And then there's a thirty dollar mail-in rebate. So after all that's said and done, it comes out to be about ninety dollars. Uh, that's tax included, which is awesome. Uh, ninety dollars for a tablet that you know compared to the one I bought before. And I know you guys are probably going to harp on that a little. Uh, the tablet I had before. This one will actually scroll halfway decently. Uh, the apps that I've got installed on it, I've actually got um, ADW Launcher loaded on it right now. I don't have any mini apps installed, but uh, it did come with a couple, and I've been using it extensively today. I've got it down to 40%. Anyway, I, I figured I'd give this a shot. We'll see how it works out. So far, it's working out better than expected, except for video playback. If you have any suggestions for playing back uh, MP4 files, uh, H.264 AVI files, things like that, on Android, definitely let me know. I believe on my phone uh, they play back without issue, so it must be something that Motorola is including that Pan Digital did not. One of the things I was very pleased with about the Pan Digital is there's a community behind it. You notice uh, maybe I mentioned that I had a bunch of apps installed on it that I put a different launcher on it. Out of the box, this does not come with Google Market Access, so I uh, very quickly found a different custom ROM based upon the most recent ROM that the, the company's put out. And it is running uh, admirably. It, it was actually running very nicely before. It just didn't have the marketplace. Now it has marketplace and Gmail and all of the Google apps, the calendar and everything else. So very pleased with that. Uh, hopefully they will continue to update it. It's not running 2.2 yet, but there are actually the, the community has put out a 2.2 build and a 2.3 alpha build. So they're working on getting some awesome stuff for this little crappy tablet. So that's definitely a big plus. I, I was wanting to get a tablet, something of decent size that I could type on and uh, read on in the dark because the e-reader the e that I've got behind me is awesome, but for reading at night, for reading when the lights are off, can't do that. Uh, so, I don't know. Like I said, uh, it, it's, it's handy, it was relatively inexpensive, and uh, worst case scenario, I make a couple of videos about it and, you know, everybody everybody comes out happy. Anyway, so I've talked about conferences, I've talked about the tablet, I've talked about general life stuff and trying to promote the channel some more. So I think that's probably enough for now. I'm going to be uploading videos and stuff all night, so I hope to talk to you again very soon. Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.